Good evening, everyone. My name is Catalina, and for this project, I decided to use my creative side by doing an animated video. Um, scratch that. It's more like a storyboard because actually animating this whole thing would take me like an entire year, and I don't want to develop a copy and tunnel. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about myself. I'm here to talk about water, earth, fire. Cut. What are you doing? This isn't Avatar the Last Airbender. Please stick to the script. Uh, Alright, today we're only talking about water. <clears throat> More specifically, water pollution. Yeah. Getting serious now, water pollution is a huge problem we are facing right now. Because of our activities that pollute the earth daily, this pollution is spreading even at a faster rate than COVID. Which is not a good thing. By the water being polluted, millions of marine ecosystems are dying, and with less marine life in the oceans, our life could be directly affected. Less fish in the oceans could lead to food scarcity, rising the price of food, and increasing economic issues. But not only that, our health is at risk as well. Polluted water is contaminating our drinking water and could cause many health issues such as... Cancer? We're going to die! <laughs> and I'm literally not exaggerating. You can find this in the US Environmental Protection Agency website. You can fact check me, people. But miss, if scientists know about this, do they do something about it? I am so glad that you asked because the answer is yes, they are. Scientists are working on water pollution by using techniques like isotope analysis to trace pollutants monitoring water quality with sensors and satellite imagery, developing the computer models to understand pollution patterns, studying the chemical composition of pollutants to identify their source, and researching new methods to remove contaminants from water like using engineered living materials or electrochemical processes to clean up polluted water bodies. Oh, I also found that scientists are also analyzing water samples to determine the types of plastic that are present, developing ways to turn plastic waste into energy, which can be used to power homes and businesses. I read this in the International Atomic Energy Agency website. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. I totally knew that as well. Mm. If we work on spreading information to our friends and family and educating ourselves on ways to help reduce climate change, our lives would change for good. And, oh, what is it? Uh, oh, it looks like our animator, who is not getting paid at all, is collapsing, so I guess that's it for today. So remember, if you want to be able to remain alive for the next years, and you want a better future for your children, let's educate ourselves and the people around you. Spread the word and let's take care of our home. Thank you so much for paying attention to my presentation. And I hope you enjoyed it, because I put a lot of effort into it. Uh, yeah, so thank you, bye!